Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my perfect genetics challenge in The Sims 3. So today, as you can see on screen here, we do have like 1800,000 children. <laughs> I did actually do a little bit of uh, renovating of the house, so I have moved the little swings over into the actual nursery now. I did actually get all three of the little toddlers in here and oh my goodness, these two are making the exact same face right now and oh, I cannot get over the literal cuteness of this little child. Why couldn't you have been the perfect heir? Because you are so cute. And then this one over here, oh my gosh, literally, yeah. Ugh. And then we have Everly over here. This one's the only one whose name I actually remember. Wait, that would be Everly and then wouldn't that make this one Enzo? Or is that Arlo? I don't even know. Oh, and also, just quickly, with the last episode, I accidentally named the quadruplets like uh uh like names that didn't um that weren't like matching or whatever so topaz was a single birth so obviously you know having his name start with t that's fine he didn't have a twin or anything like that arlo oh so arlo is actually the purple head one alrighty oh yeah so arlo was uh, a singleton as well and then we had Everly and Enzo, so that one is Enzo, all right. <laughs> so these two are actually twins, so they both start with the same letter of the alphabet. But then we had River, Raven, Charlie and Quartz. So I am going to be renaming Charlie and Quartz to, what were the names that I uh, was suggested? Robin and Ruby, and they are courtesy of FM is Fido Mum. And then also today's shout out, is actually going to Samantha. So she has said, I was laughing along with you when that fourth one come up with the laughy cry face and oh my golly gracious. So, so I have actually already responded to that comment. I just said right with a whole bunch of uh, laughy cry faces because honestly, it was just the most like, of course, you know, of course that would happen to me. But anyway, uh, without further ado, Let's actually get on into the episode. So I am going to go ahead and press play. And after the last episode, I did play through just a little bit. So the quads have just one more day to age up. And then once they are aged up into toddlers, I can open them up in Cass and rename Charlie to Robin and Quartz to Ruby. Oh, sweet. So Portia got her logic skill up. That is fantastic. That is also because, 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 because I was able to get ta the things... The tab casts, hello, why are we paused right now? The tablets, that's right. So listen to another logic tab cast, why don't you? Just like stop painting for a wee little second. Oh yeah, that's right. She's also pregnant again, isn't she? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That is definitely a little pregnant belly and that's also not an outfit that I would have put her into. So she is 100% pregnant. Uh, just in case one of the quads is not the perfect heir. So... Okay, now that you are doing that, we can actually have you go back to painting. Also, Buck did age up into an adult, so we do have to give him another little makeover, make him look a little bit older, you know, ch maybe change up his outfits just like a little, little bit. Uh, we have, s oh, oh my goodness, why did I just do that? That's right, we also have to improve her writing skill. Oh boy. So that means we need to get her one of those tablets as well. So if we just click back onto Portia... Or we could even just have her like on the computer, do some writing skill on the computer instead of doing it on the, uh, oh, with the tab cast. No, do you know what? The tab cast thing would actually be easier. Let me just go into build by. I know we have like no smackaroonies, but we're going to get some eventually. So like, don't even worry about it. So if we go to into, sorry, electronics, uh, computers, is that where it would be? Yeah, so we can't get the multi-tab, which is from The Sims 3 store, but we can get this one from around The Sims 3. It's uh, only 450 smackaroonies. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy that. And then I'll chuck that into her inventory. And she can also do her uh, homework on that as well. We can actually... Oh, here we go. Listen to tab cast. And then we can actually go ahead and have her listen to that. Uh, and then obviously, you know, she can come home after school. Hopefully she actually still comes home. That would uh, stress me out if she didn't, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. It's only 11.17 in the morning. Sorry, 11.17? Oh my goodness. It's, it's not even 17 minutes past 11. But anyway, oh, okay. Oh, alrighty. Sure. Cool. So he's, uh, he's learning the gardening skill. Love that for him. 
He's got 13 minutes left of the gardening skill. And uh, then we'll just go ahead and have him listen to something else. Earn 150 simoleons in tips. I mean, okay. Uh, how do you actually play for tips though? Because I actually don't know. I guess you have to go out to somewhere that's like public and uh, somehow do something uh, to do with tips like that. You, what's wrong with you, my sweetheart? You're, you're a little bit, uh, your social's a little bit low. Oh boy. Actually, I have decided that, look, it's not against the rules to cheat. So I'm just going to bump the social up just a little bit because I can't, I can't handle it right now. It's just too much stress. And like, quite honestly, it's not the end of the world. If we just bump up their social a little bit, it's not going to affect them like whatsoever. These three are just kind of, you know, sitting here, just kind of doing their own thing. We could actually turn their things on. So if we just go turn on to slow, turn on to slow, turn on to slow. And then uh, we can actually wait. Are we still listening to a tab cast? Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. And then go back to that. The reason I have her listening to logic is because obviously she does want to master the handiness and logic skills. So with handiness, we can actually get her to do that by fixing things around the house and upgrading things. But with logic, unless she actually sits at the chess table or sits at the computer to play chess, her logic is really not going to go anywhere. So if we have her listening to tab casts, then hopefully, I mean, you would think that her skill would actually... Um, I mean, slowly but surely, you know, just, just kind of like go up and, uh, you know, we can just hope that things work out that way. Oh, wait, I can actually just go and pop you down in that little bin over there. I always think that these little mirrors are floating off the wall, but they're definitely on the wall. It just kind of, just kind of uh, terrifies me sometimes. Oh, okay. So logic level four. Okay. Not even slowly, but surely she's actually just like legitimately getting her, her, uh, her skills up quite, quite rapidly. If you honestly... I mean, to be honest, she really is getting that up quite rapidly indeed. So hurry up and finish doing that so then I can just uh, reset you back over there. Go clean up the bad food. Go do all the other things that you need to do. I have no idea when she's going to give birth. If you guys know of a mod that gives me a countdown timer, like, you know, how these will have a countdown timer, that would be really great. That would be very, very appreciative. But for right now, I just have no clue. I have no way of checking... Ooh, you've got 10,000 smackaroonies again. Oh, why do I keep saying smackaroonies? Smackaroonies is simoleons. I'm talking about lifetime reward points. You have 11,000 lifetime reward points and your cousin's going to come home with you after school. That is cool beans. What on earth are you wearing, Amethyst? I really just called her Amethyst. Her name is literally Portia. Why do you look like you're not even pregnant? Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I played through like two days after the last episode so you should look a little bit bigger than that like you and your husband both have the fertility treatment so you have to at least have twins like let's be real here what's wrong with you guys now you know what okay I won't actually cheat their hunger because I feel like that's just a little bit like not okay so I will give these guys all a little bottle hopefully that's enough for them you three are doing amazing just sitting in your little swingies now what are you doing my sweets okay oh sweet so it did actually pop in the middle there that she's gonna come home first before listening to the tab cast oh okay the carpool's gonna come for buck very soon so you might want to actually you know take care of your little kidlings uh before the carpool comes so if you just want to like maybe go a little bit quicker that would be great Susie, what are you doing I mean, okay, wait, where are you working out? Oh, 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 wait, I thought you were going home. I mean, I think you should actually go home because you do actually need to ooh, ooh, uh, do some homework. Like, yeah, once you get home, do your homework on the tabcast. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Also, how much longer do we have for that opportunity anyway? Oh, OK, so we don't actually have a time limit on that which is perfect so the school wait how much longer do you have before you age up four days okay so you will be going to school again before that so hopefully we can get you up on to the honor roll maybe i think that would be really cool if we could painting level five that's so good oh my gosh the dance is at 6 p.m <gasps> Portia, not Portia. 
Susie, oh my god, I'm losing my voice. What is happening? Oh wait, actually, I think I gave her a formal outfit already. So that should be all right. So just uh, do your homework and then you should be actually, maybe you should quickly eat some pancakes as well. Uh, just before you get ready to go to the, oh my gosh, what's it called? The dance. Oh my gosh, sweetie, you didn't even feed the last child. What are you doing? What are you doing? Charlie slash Robin needs to be fed, my darling. So now, now Portia's going to have to do it, but that's okay. So all the kids are fine. As long as they're in the green, it's fine. Now you're finally coming home yourself, which is really, really fine and dandy. Could you please actually go and just watch a little bit of TV, my lovey? It's actually Friday, so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to, uh, grind on your homework by any means. Susie, neither do you technically, but I mean, oh, honey, 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 you didn't get your writing skill up. So get your writing skill up and maybe then get your leftover waffles, pancakes, whatever it is. She's so close to getting 10,000, meaning that we can get her the steel platter trait. Now, sweetie, is your mum feeding you? Oh, very good. I think it's just this outfit that's making her look not pregnant. I just, I don't know. I have this weird feeling that if I go into NRAS and go into here, I could probably... Hang on a minute, can't I just change outfits like that? Oh, okay, maybe not. Can I go Enras? No, oh my gosh, wrong thing. Why do I keep pressing on the wrong thing? Enras, uh, master controller, basic, change outfits. Where's change outfits? Oh, here we go, outfit, here we go. So if we put you into like anything else, will it show your belly? I mean, see that looks a little bit more like she has a belly, right? So surely, uh, surely she is actually a hundred percent pregnantis. I mean, she is pregnantis. Like there's, there's no doubt in my mind, but I mean, hopefully there's no doubt that she's going to have multiples. <laughs> I think perhaps giving her purple hair was a really bad idea on my behalf because I do have my Sim in the Sims 4 who has purple hair uh, for the not so berry challenge amethyst like she literally has purple hair and that's why I keep getting confused Tatiana my darling okie dokie so now that you're here oh my goodness hi we can actually invite you inside oh wait oh my gosh amazing cool so she actually got her writing skill up which means that she can just uh, go to school now in order for that to uh, go up and I mean in order for her to get that <gasps> okay never never mind okay so oh my god that's so cute that Tatiana actually like came to the house to get ready like to, to, to take Susie to the prom and my whole heart is just so full I just need to really quickly get a picture of our lovely Susie in her outfit here I think that's fine I don't know. She. Oh, what just happened? Oh, my lanta. That actually terrified me. What if we were to actually get like a full body shot? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Just in case, you know, she doesn't actually have her formal outfit on at the actual prom because it is obviously winter. I'm terrified they are going to change into their winter uh, outfits. Wait, what just happened? What? Uh huh. Huh? Could you work hard, please? I'm kind of terrified that you're not going to be able to, like, ever get promoted. You actually want to earn a promotion. So how about we get rid of that one and put that one in because that's worth a thousand smackaroonies. Again, not a smackaroonie. All right, Portia, my love. My love, my love. What are you doing? How about... I know that you don't like children, but how about you snuggle and play with every single child just to kind of keep their socials up just a little bit because I do feel bad about having cheated it before but like there's literally no rules against cheating motives like it's not the 100 baby challenge so like does it really matter oh Susie just went to the prom <laughs> my whole heart also it uh it's also um when the quadruplets age up it's also Arlo's birthday so we're gonna have an extra child aged child in our house oh boy that's actually like not good because that means we need another bed and we don't have the money oh boy alrighty so we really need to find a way to make money like quick smart hang on did I queue up every single child oh it's all good I did hey that does match the rest of the house what on earth maybe I did that after the last episode too and I just don't remember doing it but 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Susie is having a great time and is starting to have strong feelings for Tatiana. Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't even handle it. Oh yes, we do also have some extra walkers in the house as well because, you know, we do have four infants that are just about to age up into toddlers and uh, we kind of need uh, as well also the, uh, the potties. Susie and Tatiana were the dynamic duo of the dance. Everyone was copying their moves and checking out their styles. There is definitely some chemistry there. I mean, we already knew that, but thanks for letting us know anyway. Oh, Buck, if you don't give us the perfect heir in the next 31 days and you pass away, Wait a minute. No, no, no. When he turns into an elder, he can still produce babies. Oh, wait, never mind. It's all good. Surely, <laughs> surely, surely, things will be just fine and we'll be able to get our perfect air. Oh, inspired from work. I didn't know that a little lightning bolt meant inspired. Interesting. That toilet is nasty, my loves. Susie is definitely impressing Tatiana with the chicken dance. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cute. Could you please actually go ahead and clean that? Oh, and then make it self-cleaning. Hello? <gasps> we could do this for all of them. Oh my gosh, okay. She has so much handiness skill that she could get up. But of course, we do also need to somehow make money. She also needs to eat herself. Oh my gosh, they're inseparable. Oh my gosh. Possibly. <laughs> they are definitely hitting it off and are possibly the cutest couple at the dance. That is honestly the sweetest thing. Like, I cannot even handle how cute that is. All right, so the prom's over and Susie's curfew is actually really soon. So she really needs to actually hurry up and get her little butt back home. And quite honestly, I'm just going to pop her straight into bed because she would be so tired. Oh my gosh, why does it cancel that out? Honestly, why, 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 why? You are hungry, but I really need you to finish that. All the kids are screaming, 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 screaming. What is actually wrong with them? Okay, they need nappies changed and food. All right, holy moly. Okay, this is going to take a while <laughs> and we actually kind of need Susie to help us out here. Actually, after you've eaten, how about you come in and help one of them as well? And then Susie, honey, instead of going straight to bed, I need you to actually take care of one of the quads and then back my darling, hopefully you can get around to Charlie slash Robin before uh, time runs out. I mean, oh, <laughs> there's no timer, but you know what I mean. These three are also Starv and Marvin. To be completely honest with you, I might just kind of uh, bump them up just a little bit. Just a wee bit. I mean, we already know that uh, they are not the perfect heirs. So does it really matter that much? Like, we could just do that, right? And then after you've done with that, you could turn these on to slow and it might actually rock them to sleep. I mean, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Susie, how far away are you, darling? Because we actually really need your help. And Portia, we really need your help as well. Oh, goody. So Buck is actually onto the second child already. So that's really good. Uh, okay. So Susie, my darling. No, you're doing that. Okay. Can you like stop that though? Because you're actually really frustrating me. Also, how long until she like goes and gives birth? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious me. So y'all are going to be aging up tomorrow. Literally as soon as it says the number zero, I'm going to be aging everybody up. So there's that. I do have to give Buck a makeover because he does have those god awful uh, piggy tails. And obviously, you know, ain't nobody a fan of those. You need a little bit of a shower. So we could have you come over here and take a shower. And then, quite honestly, go ahead and pop yourself into bed. Actually, no. No, no, no. You need to finish that painting. We need to make some cash, cash money. You, my darling, what are you doing? Please do not take the children out of anything. Just go to sleep, please. Maybe we should uh, get some more easels and have the whole family paint. What are these stockings you've got on, woman? No, you're going to continue that, okay? You are going to continue that until it's finished okay because we need the money whatever you can make from it we really need it so if you don't mind 172 that really doesn't help us very much my darling but thanks anyway and then you can go to bed for the night okay so i just got the notification that it's arlo's birthday and the quads cool that's actually amazing. So as soon as everybody wakes up in the morning, we are going to be having a gigantic day of birthday parties. I will do quick makeovers. And uh, of course, we will be renaming Charlie and Quartz to Robin and Ruby. 
and uh, things are just going to be so much more great after that point. <laughs> Clearly, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six toddlers instead of just three. And I just don't know what we're going to do right now, you guys. I'm just, I don't know. We also have more babies on the way inside of Portia right now. So there's also that. Of course, I've already said, but uh, we will be giving Buck his, uh, his hair back or I'll give him a little bit of an older looking hairstyle. He's actually hungry, so excuse me, I'm busy here. Clean up bad food, uh, eat a slice of wedding cake. Sure, go for it, my lovey, go for it. And you're also really stinky. Honestly, guys, just like, can you just like be fine? Honestly, just be fine. It, the day's not about you. You're not the perfect heir, so just shush. Okay, Susie has also woken up hungry, but I'm gonna get her to have a quick shower first. And then go ahead and grab herself uh, some waffles, maybe. Sure, that sounds like a yummy breakfast. A yummy, yummy breakfast indeed. And Portia, my lovey, you're actually a little bit hungry yourself. So for you, I'm actually going to get you to serve some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Why not, my loveys? Why not? You know what? You need to wake up. Also, when I was in, oh my gosh, wow, yes, we want to do that, but maybe another time. Uh, when I was in Cass getting this, not in Cass, oh my gosh, in Build By getting this extra bed, I had to recolor the easel so that it matched everything because I'm just, that, that I'm, I'm just like that. <laughs> I'm just, I'd just be like that, honestly. Whoa, okay, her belly is actually so much bigger than yesterday. Oh my lanta, what have I done? Anyway, while whilst Portia is actually getting that done do you have to do anything not technically can we even like do anything out here like realistically with your garden because everything's dormant literally everything is dormant that's the only bad thing about the working from home career like when it comes to gardening because during the winter you literally can't do a darn thing but that's okay so you my darling stop showering because you're all done now <laughs> And just come over here and it is Arlo's birthday. Let me just double check. Yep, 100%. So this one's Arlo. If you could just uh, let him out, <laughs> chuck him on the floor, please. And uh, then we can go ahead and what on earth? What do you mean return home to complete this opportunity? I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to cancel that out because obviously it's glitched out. But as I was saying, that actually means that now we can go ahead and have a little birthday party for Arlo. So go ahead and trigger his age transition. Oh my golly gracious. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six makeovers to do today. That is crazy. Oh, I can't wait to see what trait you, you you randomly generate, my little guy. My little cutie pie. Our first little purple haired Beverly Roo. Okie dokie. We get to choose his trait, which is so good. And he gets couch potato. I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. Now let's see what you look like with your little crossed eyes, my darling. Oh my goodness, that hair is actually atrocious on you, my sweetie. But you know what? It's fine. We'll give you a makeover and everything's going to be just fine. Okay, so that was uh, super cute. So now I actually need Buck Me Love. Eh? What are you doing? No, 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 <laughs> Leave him alone. Go ahead and pick this one up. Wait, who are you anyway? River. Okay. I don't remember what order they were born in. So I'm just going to go by like the order of like left to right on the screen quite honestly so please go ahead and put river down here if you wouldn't mind and let's go ahead and trigger river's age transition wait a minute because if we get okay so if there's two kids that are both like the perfect heir what should we do should we just go by like whoever generates the best traits uh obviously like we do have to give the like the one that we're going to continue with we do have to give them the hates children trait but like as like in terms of all the rest of the traits like i don't know what to do okay i'm like i don't know i'm stressed and i don't know because again i don't know what order the kids were born in i don't remember so i'm kind of hoping that that doesn't really matter uh river sweetie are you going to okay here we go Alrighty, let's actually go ahead and see. So, of course, River was one of the purple haired babies. So, let's go down and see if River got purple eyes. Oh my gosh, I am so stressed right now. Hello, River. Oh my god, you guys! You guys! We got the freaking perfect! 
Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if I just ruined your ear holes, but you guys, River is the perfect air! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Please now go ahead and pick up Raven. Oh my goodness, could you imagine if like more than one of these babies is the perfect air? I will like literally go insane. <laughs> insane in the membrane okay so please put raven down on the floor oh my goodness imagine if raven's the perfect heir too or was raven the only one that was born without the purple hair oh no raven's got dark hair okay so that's all right obviously raven is not going to be the perfect heir then but the other two charlie and quartz or rather river and ruby not river robin and ruby because that's what we're going to be renaming them to uh, uh, they both have purple hair, so you just never know. Alrighty, so who was this one again? I've forgotten. Raven. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at Raven anyway. Doesn't hurt to check out the genetics of all of our little babies. Okay, so, ooh, alrighty, so you got your dad's hair color and eye color, I think. That's so cute. A little baby buck broke. That is just so cute. Could you please actually come over here now? Because Buck now has to get the next child up. Oh, I keep forgetting what button you're supposed to press. But there we go. There we go. I can't believe that River is our perfect heir. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I cannot believe it. And we have more babies coming inside Porsche right now. So that's why I'm annoyed. I'm very, very annoyed indeed. Okay, so let's get you all situated. Oh my gosh, imagine if we get more than one though. I know I've said it like 16 times already. But imagine... Like, what do we do if we do happen to get multiple perfect heirs? What do we do in that situation? Do we go with the first one? So, meaning, do we go with River? Or, again, like I was saying before, do we go with... Oh my gosh. <laughs> do we go with the one... Do we go with the one that randomly generates the best... What's it called? The best traits or whatever. Like, I just... I don't know what we should do here. Okay, let me see... Hang on a minute. Oh my gosh. I kind of have a feeling. Wait, what color are your eyes? Are they, are they purple? Does he have purple eyes too? Oh my gosh. Alrighty. So, <laughs> all right. So Charlie slash Robin also has the perfect genetics. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Can you please go and uh, pick up quartz? And, oh my gosh, why? Why did I decide to have, do you know what? I I don't even know. It doesn't matter. Oh, that food needs to go in the fridge before everything goes bad. I cannot believe this. I guess I'm just going to have to put up a poll and you guys can decide who uh, takes over for the next generation. Because I don't know if there's actually anything in the rules that states uh, anything about having this sort of situation. Alrighty, Quartz, come on, sweetie. Okay, only time will tell now. Only time will tell. And your eyes are closed because you're screaming. Okay, cool. So if we could just get up really, really close and press play. Okay, it's all right, you guys. Quartz does not have the purple eyes. So that's all right. We've just got two. We have two perfect airs. We have River and was it Raven? No, I think it was Charlie. I don't remember now. I'm going to have to actually open them all up in cast, give them all their makeovers, and we shall be right back. So here's Arlo. It's kind of hard to see him because he is sitting at the computer, but he does look a little bit different now. I like the way he looks now. And, uh, I, okay, I think we'll just uh, go ahead and edit Buck now. Okay, so that took me way longer than what I thought it would, but I actually gave Buck like a sort of, you know, rock kind of look. Because, you know, he is in a band and everything. And he does want to max out the music career. So I gave him a little bit longer hair. And I am kind of slowly going through. And I'm going to be making everybody dress with, like, some kind of purple accent with their outfits. That's what I did for Arlo. I am going to have to go back through Topaz's outfits and do that with him. Because I actually made all of his blue. Even though he likes the color Seafoam. Arlo likes the color blue, but you know what? Everyone's just going to wear purple because that's just going to be the way that it's going to be. 
Uh, and okay, so Everly, you've still got a couple days, four days. Enzo, you've got four days. Uh, you guys obviously just aged up. Okay, so I actually think I might do the quadruplets off. Um, actually, yes, no, I will. I will save right now. Yeah, I was going to say that I'll do the quads at another time, but I mean, considering two of them are the perfect air, I would like to see how cute they would be with a little makeover. So I'm going to go and do them like all in a row. I'm not going to continue recording in between everyone. I'm just going to show you all of them at the same time afterwards. And then hopefully we can speed through until when Portia is actually going to give birth to the babies that are in her belly, which of course we don't even need now because we've already gotten the perfect air. But like, look, it is what it is. You guys won't even believe me when I tell you how long that took. Holy moly. So this is Quartz, who has been now renamed to Ruby. I actually thought that it would be so cool if the sim that we were going to rename to Ruby ended up being the, uh, the perfect heir, you know? But that's obviously not the case, but it's absolutely fine. So as I was saying before, we are going to be slowly transitioning all of everyone to be wearing all purple clothing or something that at least has a purple accent such as with Buck's shirt here with a little purple there. So, oh excuse me, Raven over here. She is very super cute. She is just like a mini Buck. Oh my goodness, honestly, just adorable. So adorable. She's playing with a little dinosaur right now. Actually, that's really cute. Maybe I should have given her dinosaur clothing. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't uh, really matter. And then our two perfect heirs, River and Robin, who used to be Charlie, uh, these are the two that we actually have to pick from in terms of who's going to take over for the next generation. So here, oh my gosh, I've forgotten which one this one is already, but uh, this one has a little toy in the hands as well. Oh my gosh, honestly, how stinking cute. And then this one over here as well. Let me just try to maneuver this camera around over here. Look at them. Like, honestly, oops, hang on a little bit too close there. Okay, you guys, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who to choose. So hold up. Here we have, this one's River. So River was the first one that we aged up and he was the first one that we saw as the perfect heir. And then Robin was the second one. So I don't know. I mean, Rob, wait, who we clicked on? Robin is a loner and easily impressed. And then River is absent-minded and catch potato. So I think that because he didn't get the loner trait, he's probably the better option at this very moment. Uh, he's also a catch potato. And I mean, it's going to be hard with that absent-minded trait, but also I don't really mind too, too much. So in terms of everybody else, you've got ages to age up, same as you. You've got at least four days, as do you. And then all of the babbly ruse, Quartz, why do you have an extra day on top of all of your siblings? That's not happening. That is, no, that, that is not allowed. Yeah, no, that's going to be zero, pretty please, because you're the exact same age as all of your quadruplets. I just, I don't understand why the game does that. But anyway... I am now going to actually speed through the gameplay until Portia goes into labor. Okay, so I was just kind of uh, going through, uh, like obviously teaching all the kids like potty training, all that kind of um, good fun stuff. And we have a bunch of Sims in the orange right now, but we did just get the notification. I accidentally skimmed over it for Portia to actually have the babies. So right now, sweetie, could you just actually put uh honestly just like put ruby down could you like could you put it down like is that a thing you can do okay sweet amazing so i actually need you now to go to the hospital and holy moly i have no idea how many babies this woman is going to have kind of hoping it's not a lot because we already have so many to deal with we literally have four five six toddlers at the moment and I mean, we really, really need to focus on two of them specifically. I am kind of leading more towards River being the person to take over the next generation, just because his traits are a little bit better at this current point in time. So actually with Susie still at home, we will actually have her kind of focus on feeding the kids and all that kind of 
stuff. We actually have Buck at work, but he's actually on his way home, which is really good. So how are all of the little kid leaders doing? Could you just feed all of these kids on the floor, please? Because they're all starving Marvin. Oh my gosh, they are everywhere. Like I, I can't even, I can't even find majority of them. Robin's there, you've got food. Ruby, you're there, you've got food. River, you're there, you've got food. Where's Raven? Excuse me, I will save soon. Oh my goodness, Raven, what are you doing outside, baby girl? We need to feed you on the floor. Walter Grisby, Buck Duranso, Dia, and he earned 185 smackaroonies. That's so good. Where are you, babes? Oh, good. You're coming home. Oh, wait. You're going to... No, no, no. Don't be with the mother. Come home and take care of the babies that you already have at home, okay? Please. <laughs> Holy moly. This is going to be a much longer episode than usual. Okay. Oh, wow. So, uh, we've had a baby boy, and they have been born with the loves the outdoors trait, which means the pregnancy didn't go too well. Uh, sad day, but I mean... Can you blame us for, like, the amount of craziness that's going on right now? So, okay, what I'm thinking is we've got Topaz, Arlo, Everly, and Enzo, River, Raven, Robin, and Ruby. So, because we didn't get to use the Charlie and Quartz names, I was thinking maybe we could actually call this baby Charlie and then stick with the C names if there's multiples. You feel me? So this baby will be called Charlie and they will be a light sleeper and they will love the outdoors. Okay. And I just have a feeling there's going to be more than one baby. I knew it. Okay. Oh, okay. So the pregnancy was smooth, but they have been born with a virtuoso trait. So Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. And then I'll just quickly have a look, see through some of the older videos to see if there's any suggestions for any female names starting with the letter C. All right, so I found one from episode three, which was Cleo. So I think that's actually a really sweet name, and we're going to go with that one. So Cleo is going to be a virtuoso and artistic. <gasps> Guys, we love to see it. Please do not be more than two babies. I will squeal. No, oh, my God. Just for a split second, I thought we weren't going to have two children. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, you know what? We're going to call this one Chase because it's a C name that I like. So we're just going to go with that. Please, please. Okay, so the, uh, Chase is going to be excitable and loves the outdoors. If there's a fourth one, I might actually lose my ish. You guys, this one's blonde. Are you kidding me? What is, what is going on? Please don't be a fourth baby. 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 Okay, guys, I think we're safe. Oh my god, we had triplets. Do you know how long it's been since I've actually had triplets in The Sims 3? I hate this. With every ounce of my being, I hate this. Because we actually technically need like nine. Uh, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We literally need nine. But the thing is, we have these three little whatchamacallit things. And we've got three, four, five six, seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven, okay, I put all the walkers over here, what I've done is I've gotten rid of the storage situation that I had, uh, just for now, because we kind of needed the money from those, I've left the ones in the parents' room, where, oh, you know what, technically we should get another one of these stupid little playpens as well, I'll leave that for now, I have completely overwhelmed myself, we have... 14 sims in our darn household right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, okay, you know what? She's gonna want like everyone to age up well. Look, it's gonna be a whole thing. She's like not even home with the triplets yet. But as you can see here, Charlie, the new Charlie has blonde hair. Chase looks like he has dark hair. And then Cleo looks like she might have purple hair. If any of them are the perfect heir though, we're just going to ignore them because like, quite honestly, we're, we're just going to choose between River and Robin. I think at this point in time, I am going to most likely go with River because he doesn't have that loner trait. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. So, Everly and Enzo have four days to age up. So, I am going to play through a few days off camera. We're not going to get Portia pregnant again, obviously, because we don't need any more children. Uh, okay, so Enzo... And then, obviously, the new toddler, the, the, 
sorry, the quads have seven days. The brand new infants have three days. Oh my goodness. I mean, look, it's going to be a lot, but we're just going to have to deal with it. So we are indeed obviously going to have to get Portia to get her little butt home. We might have to keep Susie in the household even once she does become a young adult just to help us out with all of the kids. And or if Susie moves out, maybe some of the kids could move out with her. The ones that like, you know, aren't the perfect heir. You, you feel me? So, you know, they could just go ahead and uh, move on out with their big sister uh, but yeah, so I'm just going to let Portia put all of these children away. The children screaming is literally driving me nutty. But off camera, I'm going to try to teach all of these toddlers their skills that they need, play through a couple of days. And for the next episode, we'll come back with hopefully a little bit of a quiet, quieter uh, household. And wait a minute. Hey, you look interesting. Oh, wait a minute. Is that that mod that gives babies like a different looking skin? Oh my goodness. I mean, I think that's still the same eye color that babies always have, but that baby definitely has blonde hair and I don't know where it came from. And honestly, Portia, that is my literal exact face right now as well. <laughs> Let's be real here. Anyway, you guys, obviously, you know, uh, a lot happened in today's episode. It was a really long one. I've been sitting here for nearly two hours. It's actually 11 p.m. now. I started at nine, so that's that. I also have only 45 minutes of footage actually physically recorded. So, um, yeah, I'm going to catch in with you guys next episode. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. Can't believe we finally got a perfect air. Let me know who you would choose between River and Robin in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And you guys, of course, if you enjoyed today's video in particular, I do encourage you to go ahead and click the like button because that really does help me and my channel out so, 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 so very much. And let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on the channel next. Thank you all so very much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.